Hi, my name is Jocelyn Franco, and I'm going to be talking about video games. Um, I'm going to be repeating Edgar's speech, and his main claim was video games and their benefits to society. His secondary claims were, one, video games produce educational benefits, two, video games relieve stress, and three, video games produce simulations and real-world skills. For the first secondary claim, video games produce educational benefits. He uses the personal example that his parents bought him an edu educational game named Big, Big Brain Academy when he was younger. He tries to use this evidence to support his claim that he received educational benefits from. There are, some, there are several flaws with his evidence. First of all, he is using a personal example in his stating that he learned math skills, there is, but there is no factual data showing that his math skills improved after playing Big Brain Academy. Second, he says that this occurred when he was younger. He does not state how long ago and if this game still applies today. According to BigBrainAcademy.com, their last release of this game was in 2006. And since the video game industry releases new games yearly, this information is outdated and not applicable to today. Another problem with his personal example is that he used the game aimed for kids. His main claim stated that video games are beneficial to society. Society meaning everyone, from children to adults, and anything that falls in between our own. And according to BigBrainAcademy.com, they only sold 5.2 million copies worldwide. Where, according to CNBC, the most popular game in 2011 was Call of Duty Black Ops, selling 7 million copies in its first 24 hours in the U.S. alone. This more recent and more popular game is more edu is not educational and compared to the Great Brain Academy, but applies to the greater part of society that he, he states in his main claim. The secondary claim, video games relieve stress. Edgar states that video games help relieve stress with exercise. He gets this information from Ranker.com, which is a blog that basically ranks things. At the bottom of the page, the site states, the information and media on this page and through Ranker is supplied by pre-based factual Wikipedia, Ranker users, and other sources, which are not stated anywhere in the site or text. So this means that you can just become a member of the site and you too can edit the information. They also get their information from Wikipedia, which is a similar website that you can merely edit and do not need any, cred any credibility to edit. The site also states that research shows and research states, but nowhere does it state who did the research or what the research even was. Rather, it paraphrases results. For, for example, the website attempts to suggest the replacement of outdoor exercise with video game exercise, but it never states how he or she knows that the Wii Fit or other exercise games are beneficial. They merely state one or two examples of someone who miraculously lost so much weight by using the Wii Fit. That's just one out of so many people in society. Edgar states also that violent games help relieve stress. Maybe an adult can play violent video games, but can a child be able to withstand that? He gives no evidence that children can, that children can withstand violent games. And children are a part of society, which he mentioned in his main claim. The evidence he does use is a quote from Katie May Mayers saying, there's something cathartic about blasting the head off a mu mutated giant rat or fighting against a battalion of skeleton warriors. Instead of engaging in an activity that might actually hurt me or my liver, I'm safely at home, blowing off steam by slashing my way through a horde of zombies with a chainsaw. According to gradhacker.com, where this quote was taken from, Katie is an anthropology PhD student who specializes in mortuary archaeology and bioarchaeology, meaning she deals with bones and burials, nothing to do with video games or society or how it affects the life. So her statement about video games being stress, a stress reliever is only a personal opinion that cannot be connected to video games and society as a whole. In his, third secondary, in his third secondary claim, video games provide simulations and real world skills. He uses the example of fi flight simulators. He gets this information from racemarket.com. Sure, there are some beneficial effects of video games on this source, but if you read further, the same source lists damaging effects of video games that are also convincing. One damaging effect that contradicts the simulations is according to the website, games can confuse reality and fantasy. 
Therefore, this website cannot be credible because it contradicts itself within the same page. Therefore, in conclusion, Edgar's, Edgar's evidence used in, the, in his speech were weak because he gave no factual data. It was out of date. It didn't, and it did not apply to his main claim entirely. He broke it down into parts. Um, and part of his evidence was irrelevant. Thank you. Do you have an outline? Yeah, sorry. Well, there's a lot in your speech that I think is really effective. I think it would be more effective if you worked on some delivery things. You need to speak up a little bit and look up and talk to us occasionally. But uh, when it comes to analysis, I thought you did a very nice job on each of the points talking about the inadequacies of the advocate's evidence, uh, sometimes challenging the uh, source on it, although I don't know that the, some of the challenges were all that important. Now, I did like the one that you, I mean, you went to the effort of looking at bigbrain.com. It was bigbrain.com. Bigbrainacademy.com, finding out when the last version of the game came out, how many they sold in totality. And then I like the fact that you put it into contrast with some of these other games that sell that many on the first day just in the United States alone, and they don't have those kinds of benefits to them. And in fact, the vast majority of games are not these educational games that the advocates talk about, and I thought you did a good job uh, proving that point. So I thought that was really effective. I also liked the way you challenged the way the advocate was reasoning with the uh, we on the second point and some of the inferences that are being made. I think you could have used a little bit of evidence on that point, but the challenges that you had were pretty good. The challenge, <coughs> the challenge on the... Um, you know, the, uh, what is it, the release of stress thing seems like it's mostly directed at the uh, source's qualifications when, in fact, I think the example, you know, it is a piece of personal testimony. It's not necessarily expert testimony. However, uh, they might very well be speaking for many in this situation, and I think that you need to... Sh you know, some counter evidence on this point would be helpful, especially when you say, well, it, that might be limited to adults, but what about kids? But then you don't provide us with any follow-up evidence that says kids get frightened by the games, they misunderstand what they're learning, they become more aggressive as a result of seeing those games, and it seems to me like there's plenty of information out there that would have, that would have been a good thing to plug in at that point. Um, but I, like I said, I like the analysis a lot. Uh, I thought all your signposting was fine. Um, you just need to be a little bit more forceful, and you had a very good summary. All right, thank you.